Do you remember Meghan Markle's controversial interview with Oprah Winfrey where she pretended that she didn't know Princess Diana also had a controversial interview back in the day? Yeah, there she told a whole story about how the royal family is racist because they allegedly questioned how dark her baby was going to be. She swore that she will never reveal the names of the alleged royal racists and then fast forward two years, Harry had an interview with Tom Bradby's ITV where he claimed that Meghan never said the royal family was racist. In the Oprah interview, you accuse members of your family of racism. You don't even... Really? Well, of the British press said that. Now, Meghan's favorite royal reporter, Omid Scobie, has released his book Endgame, where only the Dutch version of the book exposes the names of the alleged royal racists. There, he writes that the Princess of Wales, Catherine Middleton, or Kate Middleton, and King Charles were the ones who spoke about Archie's skin tone. If you recall, Catherine was the target of Meghan's Oprah interview, where Meghan took several digs at her, but in the name of fairness and even saying that Kate is a nice person. Harry also took several digs at Catherine in his book Spare, where he exposes Meghan for actually making Catherine cry before the wedding drama, a story where Meghan claimed the reverse happened on Oprah, aka Catherine made her cry. This whole drama being brought up again is definitely Harry and Meghan's doing because Omid Scobie along with Carolyn Durant were the co-authors behind the book Finding Freedom, a book that Harry and Meghan orchestrated. Meghan lied in court and said that she had nothing to do with it when that wasn't true and she ended up apologizing saying she forgot in court. Leaked emails show Harry telling Jason Knopf, yeah, we gotta be able to say that we had nothing to do with Finding Freedom. So are we supposed to pretend that Harry and Meghan didn't have anything to do with the names being released, ironically only in the Dutch version? of the book? That feels like it was done on purpose, since when do international versions get more information? On top of that, Meghan and Harry seem to backpedal again because Meghan and Harry said that it was one main person on Oprah and swore that Kate is a good person and Meghan even went out of her way on Netflix talking about how King Charles handled everything with the wedding and was able to help her with all the cultural version of black elements including the choir and everything like that and she didn't have anything to do with it. But since everything exploded back in Harry and Meghan's face, they're reviving old drama as a haha gotcha moment. And I'm not one to excuse racism by any means, but when Megan is the one who said on Netflix that she never got treated as a black woman, very different to be a minority but not be treated as a minority right off the bat. But obviously now people are very aware of my race because they made it such an issue when I went to the UK, but before that, most people didn't treat me like a black woman. And she is the white passing person she is along with Harry who looks the way he looks. It seems like any comment made about how dark Archie would have been was made in a way of, yeah, he's gonna be lighter than both of them, which he is. Not to mention the family members wondering how a mixed baby is gonna look like isn't something out of this world, but who really knows? All I'm saying is that Meghan and Harry always have a hidden agenda and they are proven as vindictive liars, so it's hard to believe anything that comes out of their mouths.